What anime should everybody watch? Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood. Cowboy Bebop. I'm not even a big time anime person, but this one's awesome. I like Trigun, too. Bakano. It's about Prohibition era gangsters, and also a group of immortal alchemists pursuing their own agenda behind the scenes. What's not to love? Monster. It's one of those unbelievable stories told in an extremely believable way, and how we are all just victims of merciless circumstance, And that we don't have to be. Any Miyazaki, Studio Ghibli. I'm actually shocked no one mentioned these movies. They are a perfect introduction to anime for those who do not normally watch anime. Totoro. Kiki's Delivery Service. And Ponyo are beautiful and entertaining children's movies. While Howl's Moving Castle and Princess Mononoke have much more adult themes, but still carry that whimsy that's typical of Miyazaki. Just don't start with Grave of the Fireflies unless you want to spend the rest of your night crying. Ghost in the Shell. I'd be willing to bet that most people would enjoy it. Regardless of whether or not they're into anime or sci-fi. Plus, it's just so damn good. Akira. Cowboy Bebop. Great Teacher Onizuka. Trigun. Hunter x Hunter. 2011. It really is something special. Be warned. The author hasn't worked for six months consecutively since 2005. And recently started a hiatus. So the manga won't be progressing for a while. Edit. Typo. Mashishi. We'll come to the end. H. K. It makes you think a lot in a good way. Gurren Logan, Underdog story about rising up against the impossible. Roroni Kenshin. Steins, Gate. Kinda hard to understand in the beginning. But trust me. It's worth. Death Note. At least the first series. I felt the second series just died off and petered out from what it was. Samurai Champloo. FLCL is without a doubt my favorite series. It's a short six episode ova with amazing animation. Great characters and a memorable soundtrack. Darker than black. Berserk. Yu Yu Hakusho. Such a great anime. Kind underrated though. Nichijo it's hilarious and happy. Code Hayas. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. If you're a man's man, watch this to add some fabulousness and posing to that manliness. While at the same time increasing your already above average manliness. In other words, watch this to become Johnny Bravo. P. S. W. R. Y. 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 Space Dandy. Another Watanabe classic. It manages to be both monumentally stupid and extremely intelligent at the same time. It's also very funny. Also. Lots of booty. Spice and Wolf. Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's a psychological mindfrock. I'm not an anime watcher. But I have seen this series at least five times. Edit. Shout out to R. Evangelion. Good people to bounce the frocky ness off of. Edit 2. Many folks saying Eva is aging poorly, pretentious, shouldn't be watched by newcomers. These people can suck my dick. D. ITT. Name your favorite anime. S. Favorite equals, equals everyone should watch. Psycho Paw. FMA Brotherhood. Death Note. Helsing Ultimate. Attack on Titan. Angel Beats. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Paprika. Initial D. Orin High School Host Club. It is a silly 90,210 type show. But I love the characters. And I think the opening and closing themes are amazing. No robots. No fan service. Just fun stories. Cory in the house. Madoka Magica. No it is not a happy sunshine rainbows magical girl show. Despite what it looks like. It's actually very dark. Planet. An anime about space junk collectors who keep the orbit of Earth clear of debris. It mostly avoids your typical anime archetypes and it isn't about boobs in action. It is also fairly. Realistic. Take on the future of space travel. And it has a lot of good small little touches for instance when they are in zero G there are more frames in the animation to make it look more fluid when they move around. Clonade and Clonade. The after story. It's an amazing story of life. Ranma one half. This was the sit back in the 80s and 90s. 
but it seems like kids these days only care about their bleaches and their fancy phone computers. Paranoia agent it's just so good of a mind frock. Shinsekai Yori. It makes me really sad to see how often it is overlooked. Ninja Scroll and Afro Samurai. Psycho Paw is definitely my most favorite. It's just started its second season. Give it a look. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Samurai Champloo. One Piece. Black Lagoon. Death Note. Kill La Kill. Such a fun anime. No love for Eureka 7 here. Cowboy Bebop. Grave of the Fireflies. You'll never forget it. Toradora for the Tsunere fans. Dragon Ball Z is a great starter anime. Serial Experiments Lane. How the crap has those thread gone on without a single Miyazaki film being mentioned? 1. My Neighbor Totoro. 2. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. 3. Howl's Moving Castle. 4. Porco Rosso. 5. Princess Mononoke. 6. Spirited Away. Another good one. Not Miyazaki, the girl who leapt through time. Attack on Titan is one of the best recently. I don't care what anyone says. Golden Boy is the best anime. This guy goes from small job to small job because he likes to learn. And he always starts off creeping girls out majorly. And by the end of the show they're fawning over him. It's hilarious. Also. While I'm here. Shin Chan. Avatar. The Last Airbender and the Legend of Korra. Hands down. Akira. A movie I usually see once a year. Probably need to rewatch it soon. Ghost in the Shell. I really love the movies and the series is also really good. Cowboy Bebop. This one is really good. This series is a must see. I actually got a little bit depressed when I had watched it all. Perfect Blue. You know the movie Black Swan. A metric ton of its content was taken from this movie. It's also one of Terry Gilliam's favorites. Ranma or Spice and Wolf. I'm surprised there was no mention of Azamanga Dayo or Lucky Star. Both were hilarious. Even if you are a 30-year-old man. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Prepare yourself. Sit just got real. Violent. And goddamn sad. In end of Evangelion. Real fast. School days. This anime will teach you everything you should not do in a relationship. Starts out as your average love triangle. Romance comedy. Anime and then takes a hard left turn. The ending messed me up a little and made me not watch anime for a few weeks after. Eureka 7. Great story. Intense action. Beautiful romance. And the dub is amazing if not better than the sub. I would recommend. Full Metal Alchemist then FMA. Brotherhood. Soul Eater. Deadman Wonderland. Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online. But only the first 15 to 16 episodes. Italia. Watch it with subs. I really enjoyed Paranoia Agent when I was younger I thought it was a great anime. A big reason I liked it so much was also that there's only 13 episodes compared to some animes that just seem to drag on forever. Sailor Moon Crystal. Brand new. No filler episodes. Much closer to the manga. Princess Mononoke. Gundam Wing. It has a lot of anime tropes. But unlike most Gundam series. The plot actually makes sense. Neon Genesis Evangelion and the end of Evangelion. It's like if Kubrick made an anime. I'd say Attack on Titan and Gurren Lagann. Two shows from completely opposite ends of the spectrum. But two shows that perfectly represent anime. Neon Genesis Evangelion. I really can't believe not one mention of the Gundam series and specifically Gundam Wing. I love that show. The action. The politics. The drama. I should watch it again and see if it is as good as I remember or if I'm just a nostalgic old fool. Jintama. If you never before understood Japanese humor. You will now. It was the first time I truly knew what a huge difference subs and dubs could make. FLCL. No love for Tokyo Ghoul. One Piece. Sword Art Online. Fate Zero. Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood and Trigun. Nichijo. It is one of the best chill ones out there. I'll list a few and try to avoid some of the more popular ones that I know will be mentioned. 1. 
Kill la kill, you might think it starts off strange, but it quickly evolves into fun story that teaches the values of friendship and being yourself. 2. Anahana, bring tissues. 3. Black Lagoon, a saucy modern day. Pirate, tail, lots of cursing and general awesomeness. 4. No game no life, couple of shut-ins are transported by a god to a world that suits them better. A world ruled entirely by games. 5. Princess Jellyfish, a funny story about a bunch of shut-ins. I know of a lot more. But I'll leave it here for now. 1. Sword Art Online. 1 and 2. 2. Helsing. Ultimate. 3. Roroni Kenshin. 4. Death Note. 5. Attack in Titan. 6. Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood. 7. Gundam. Any of them except SD Gundam, 